Hey everybody, I'm Ellen here at eTrailer.com and we're taking a quick look at the quarter inch air tubing from Firestone. This is going to be 22 feet of air tube. So if you have airbags on your truck or your vehicle and maybe something happened to that original tubing, it got damaged or got severed somewhere along the way, this is going to give you plenty of length to get that replaced. So let's take a closer look and we can see the end of that tube. You can kind of tell that it's been sort of cut um, with maybe some scissors, which is one of the things that you do not want to do whenever you're installing this. So if I was going to put this on my vehicle, I'd want to make sure that I used a razor knife or something to make a clean cut. You don't want to crush it or create kind of an uneven cut there that can cause leaks. So you want to make sure that it's a nice, clean, flush cut so that it can go into your push, um, into your, your fitting there. The name is escaping me right now. If you have a barbed fitting where it's just going over the top, it doesn't matter as much, but anything that's gonna be that push to connect fitting where you uh, push it in and then a little bit further, it really needs to have that flush cut there. Another tip for running any kind of air tube is to make sure that you don't drag it across any edges. A lot of times whenever you're running this, uh, it can be tempting to kind of drag it across the frame, you know, routing it around to wherever you have your Schrader valves. But a lot of times it'll be just kind of an edge to your frame. And as you drag that, that can create little grooves in the tubing. And again, can cause leaks. It can kind of wear through that tube or make it hard to connect it into the push connect fitting to get it to seat properly. Also, of course, you want to keep it away from anything hot like the, the uh, exhaust, and you also want to keep it away from anything moving like your suspension. So those are just a couple of easy tips to remember for whenever you're running your air tube. But again, 22 feet of length should be a pretty good amount to replace um, either the entire air tubing that you might have had on your truck or just a portion and then have some to spare. But just want to be kind of careful with how you run it and where you run it to make sure you don't damage it overall. But I hope this has been helpful in deciding if this is the right piece for you. We do have a lot of replacement parts for your Firestone accessories and all kinds of goodies for your trucks and vehicles out there. So check them out right here at eTrailer.com. Thanks for watching.